guys, what's happening? In today's video, we're giving you a shooting masterclass. Now, we've been selected to partner with MLS for the MLS All-Star Skills Challenge presented by Target. Second chance, score on the bicycle! This is the ultimate test for these players. We're going to be running a few tests. One of them is the art of shooting. We're going to demonstrate that today. Let's go. Vena with the shot, the crawler! Exquisite from Carlitos! A touch of magic on that ball! Now I'm going to try the whip technique. The reason why this is good from a free kick to use this technique is because you start side on, which allows you to get up and over the ball, which means it can go up and down over the wall. Let's go. Oh, so close. But that is the whippage. Oh! Fix his arrive, that's whippage. Up and down. Oh! So close. So close. Fix is here. Hold up. That is a whippage. Let's move on. Right then, now on to Swaz. So with Swaz, basically you cut across the ball with your foot, which generates a side spin, and that causes the ball to bend the opposite way to which you cut across the ball. Oh! Why did I miss? It's because I didn't get enough Swaz on it. That's why I missed. Watch the replay. The ball needed that little bit of side spin. I didn't put enough on it, so that's why I ended up hitting the angle. I missed. <laughs> so when it comes to swaz, I personally find it easier to generate more swaz when the ball's moving across my body. Swazzy. Again, there wasn't enough swaz on it. You still sold them short. <laughs> that's, that's better. That's better. <laughs> that's better. That's what I was going for. Someone pray for the GoPro. Yeah. It's absolutely been obliterated. And that is the swaz. There's no keeper in the world that would have got to that shot. And that's the swaz. On to the next. What's next? Um, next is the knuckleball. The aim with the knuckleball is to get the ball so it doesn't spin, but it moves in the air, even up or down or to the side, which gives the keeper less time to react because he doesn't really know where it's going. That's the knuckleball. Yeah, boy, up and down. When you hit it, it's such a hard technique to get on target, but when you do, it feels so good. Right, go get your mums, your dads, your names, your grands, your brothers, sisters, your friends, and tell them to watch this. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, boy. It feels so good when you hit it. See the movement? That time it was sideways. It weren't really up and down, but still the knuckleball technique. Okay, so next up is weak footed strikes. Now, what is the importance of being able to strike with your weak foot? Well, it gives you options, it's empowering. It means you don't always have to go to the same side to get off a good shot and score goals. So that is why it's so important to practice shooting, not only on your strong side, but also on your weak side. Yes. One helpful tip for working on your weak side is everyone's got a phone these days with a camera on it. Film yourself striking with your strong side and compare your technique to your weak side. Study yourself and critically analyze your own technique and try and be the same on both sides. Unless you need to work on your good side, in which case, try and be like someone else on both sides. There's no rocket science to it when it comes to working on your weak foot. 
you literally just got to keep practicing. The more often you do it, the more comfortable it becomes, just like anything. Yes, keeps. Now onto the zing. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the zing, it's where you strike through the ball nice and clean and pure, and you keep it low, usually below sort of chest, waist height, and it just glides through the air. It flies like just an artistic, poetic thing of beauty, like a torpedo, homing in on its target, side netting. Never top bins, because that wouldn't be a zing, because it's too much. Do you know what I'm saying, though? Oh, the beautiful game. You enjoyed that let's get on to the next segment boom now on to the half volley shot um, this is one of the hardest techniques to do as well um, but if you catch it right it's so satisfying I'm gonna try and demonstrate a few it's all about timing guys it's all about timing oh, I'm devoted that's what I went for for me half volley when you catch it nice it's so sweet This one is the half volley curl. Now you don't see many people trying this type of technique. Very difficult. One, two, one, go! Oh, that was what I went for. Let me go once more, let me go once more. One, two, one, go! So that was our first video in this great partnership with MLS and uh, we're looking forward to this All-Star Skills Challenge, aren't we, Jez? We are. We can't wait. We cannot wait for it. Um, the content's going to be unbelievable and fingers crossed, all the best players turn up. That's it. Watch this space for part two and part three. Let's go. I mean, he's brave, he is brave. What do you mean? I'm shooting, Jess. This ain't anyone just doing this. Bex, Bex is in the house. What'd you do this to Bex? Right. Oh Wouldn't do it to Bex, would you? Told him. No trust in the workplace these days. I thought you were going round me, not over me. So you can see, I cut across the ball and the ball, you just get a little bit of move. I mean, it depends how much swaz you put on it, but it's, a, it's, it's one of my favorite techniques. I love swaz. Oh, what's going on here? Charlie, Peter's upstairs. <laughs> what's, what's the what did the mannequin ever do for you, bruv? Charlie, man. Abusing mannequins in the background. So when it comes to swaz, I personally find it easier to generate more swaz when the ball's moving across my body. It wasn't how I saw it going, but that's just, yeah, I do find it easier when the ball's moving. Let me get another ball and get this right, because that's just, I'm not happy with that. Look, the people deserve more than that. Come on, thanks, Steve. Oh, I've sold them short. The people deserve more. Again, there wasn't enough swaz on it. When it's a swaz segment, top bins is not going to get you there. It needs to go top bins with swaz or side netting or in off the post. That's all we settle for. Ah, oh, see, I tried to go across. I tried to go across. That's, I mean, we're talking about swaz, so I may as well get this point across. That is even harder. Cut, reversing and getting enough cut across for the ball to, yeah, go that way and still swaz. Because you have, you've got to basically rotate more. Let me try another one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that's, the, that's better. That's better. <laughs> that's better. That's what I was going for. Saying that it feels right.